some fight for the glory of a championship, whilst others fight for the glory of their team, and others simply fight for the glory of battle. But tonight is different. All will fight for one simple thing, and that one thing is brand supremacy. Association with Spartanware and FNX Ring the Bell Wrestling presents Civil War. Hello, guys, and welcome to Civil War. I'm Chris, your main commentator, gentlemen, alongside Jason Todd. Oh, yes, we are here. We are here for Civil War, a huge night ahead. And well, he said all about brand supremacy. And well, guys, if you were just coming over from the pre-show, you might be wondering why we're in a different arena. But for the Civil War matches, they will be conducted in a baseball stadium provided by a friend of the owner, Gary V. Gorman. And that's just going to be for the actual eight-man matches. The rest of the show will be in the arena that we have set up. Uh, are we trying to you know, do something cinematic? It is what it is. So right now, though, coming out is the men's apex team being led down by the captain, Morgan Wolf on the left, Liam on the right, Jay Mercer we haven't seen in a while, and then behind them is Jaden Shadow. Yep, team apex making their way out for a better. You know what, I've got to wonder something. We see Morgan there, we see Liam there. But where did their loyalties really lie with each other? We saw the leaked footage. Yeah, we did see that leaked footage by that hacker, that mysterious hacker. Yeah, apparently he's been on Twitter, he calls himself an overseer. He, he put out that, I mean, Liam went with Casey Wolf, with Morgan's wife, you know, under the sheets. <clears throat> That's yeah. all I say there. But Morgan, no saint himself, also going with Oya Shadows, who is also on the Women's Apex team. What, what a strain there. There really is. I mean, yeah, they're all coming out together, but I've got to wonder. Like, you can see that Olivia, he's standing next to him because Jay and Jay just got mental. <laughs> He's, he's, I think he's fired up for this matchup, but I mean, he's the one one without any tension in this match. I mean, we're dealing with the J Factor in there. We got mm -hmm. the brothers who some affairs being put out, but we had, we do have a mystery man as Dom's gonna stay here. I'm happy to announce that the poor management by Apex of our last member team Battlefront, being a man who was drafted and didn't want to go, and after a heated conversation with Coach, he came to me and Gary and voiced his complaints. Gary said if he wants a secret match, he can join the Battlefront team. It is the Spartan Chase Owens. Oh my, that now it just this get back gets so much more interesting now because remember Morgan wanted Chase Owens in the team. Yeah, he wanted him on the team. Yeah. I mean, he wanted Chase Owens on the Apex team over William Wolf, but William beat Chase Owens to get onto the team. That caused a lot of tension already there. But now Chase Owens back on the Battlefront brand. Oh, he's back on Battlefront and. I mean, my god, yeah. I feel like, you know, what, a few weeks ago, everything seemed to be going on the direction of Apex. Everything looked great for them. Everything was going right. And things were just not going right for bad for scenes. We're now at Civil War and Apex. So everything looks to have just completely self destructed for them. It was just absolutely insane. I mean, like you said, I mean, during all those weeks, we saw that 
to hit that camera, looking at nobody. Now it's Chase Owens. It's just absolutely been insane the past few weeks. It was all Apex. Apex won at the draft. The captains beat all of the Battlefront captains during the weeks. Coach Morgan invaded Battlefront, announcing war. Apex had the training camp. Apex been invading Battlefront again and again. And then, oh, on to the last show for Battlefront. A hacker put out a video and tension all around on the Apex team. Yep. It just said, and then a complete self destruction seems of Team Apex. And now, you know, add in the four of Chase Oates is now on Team Battlefront when Morgan so wanted them on Team Apex. Oh, God. It, there's a lot of trauma surrounding this match. Yeah, there's certainly a lot of trauma. And, well, for some reason, we got a lot of, uh, what a camera to the fans, for the, of course, well, not the real fans, the yeah. holograms we, we, that we, we set up in the baseball the holograms, field. holograms, yeah, we wanted to bring the holograms even to a baseball stadium. Yeah, but right now, can we see an instant elimination? <laughs> no. Good Lord, could you imagine? <laughs> imagine Rory eliminating <laughs> Liam Wolf instantaneously. I mean, Liam Wolf might be worn out. Yeah, he could I don't be. know how many times he's done it, done it with Casey Wolf. <laughs> you know what? I don't think Morgan wants to know that answer either. Probably not. You know, so they will tighten it now, change shows. We'll see how well Apex do maybe work as a team. But oh! I thought he was going for a rainmaker, but they'll turn it into a big kick. Yeah, but big, I'll rip this is up. <laughs> big slam there by Roy Pierce. I mean. Roy starting it off 14 Battlefront as the captain should, but Morgan, he decided to let William Wolf start this one for instead. It's almost like he's just trying to sacrifice him there. Yeah, it might be so. I mean, there's a cover here. Look at the leg. No. Oh. I mean, yeah, the fact is, I mean, what's going from the mind of Morgan? I mean, he, he's now said that, well, his wife. Um, slept with another man, but then Morgan stopped really, you know, yep. innocent of all this. Yep. Quick look at the holograms yet again. Definitely not skipping through the match because it was like 40 minutes long. All right, we're back in. J Factor here going against the chosen one, Jonathan Reed. Oh, and it's a Canadian destroyer. Once a chosen one. Can we see an elimination here? Cover. One, two, no. Now, Jay Mercer trying to go after the chosen one here. Oh. Big face buster there. Now, going for it. One, two, no. The chosen one once again kicks out. Now, has him. Look at this. No, Prince of Town. I'm going right above it, so now, once again, go for the Elimination? Two? Again. No! Oh, no hook in the leg, but, well, he might have still got elimination if it weren't, of course, from Roy Pierce. Yeah, the captain getting in there, stomping it there, as now, what is Jay Mercer looking to do? Has John Burrid up and is throwing him across the ring. Yeah, throwing him. John Reed doesn't seem to know really where he is, but Chavez is just torn in there. Yeah, Jay Mercer capitalizing. somehow allowed him to get in, and now Chase Owens, the traitor, the Benedict Arnold here, now on Battlefront. But now. Oh, it's just big stomps. Yeah, the big stomps there by Jay Mercer. Now continuing here against Chase Owens. Big kick, and yet again. And oh, boom, I can big oh. lethal kicks there from Jay Mercer. Mm, looks like Chess is just trying to always hold. I mean, what, how much faith does he have in his team? Oh, God, come on, boy, a knee strike. Now, Canadian destroyer. The big destroyer there. No. I think he's trying to call it the relationship destroyer. I mean, that's not very fitting with the team that is on. He's not yeah, helping his case. It's good Lord Joe. That's just making, you know, it makes things worse, why don't you? It's all big face buster there. 
No. You know, I feel like in 20 years we're going to have a documentary called The Rise and Fall of Team Apex. <laughs> Two. I mean, the rise was the weeks going, coming up to that last battle for weeks going up to that training camp. But all we were going to sell big knee. Again, another Kamakoya niche try. And now, well, now look at Jay Mercer just getting cocky and arrogant here. But that's Jay Mercer down to a T. Yeah, and look at this, Chase Owens able to catch him. Yeah, Chase Owens able to catch him here. There's no big slap there. You know, Jay He's Mercer's old. reeling now. Yeah, he is. It's Chase Owens. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, look, look at this. Stuff. Spanish oh, fly off the top. God, a huge, huge Spanish fly. That could be it, but no, Jay Mercer's trying to get a tag, and he does. Yeah, get the tag. Jay and Shadow is inside now, but no oh, big stop there by Chase Owens. And you notice that it was only Jay and Shadow who was actually looking to, for, you know, to get a tag. Morgan and Lee would just seem to have no interest in that cover. One, no. Well, I mean, when you name your move the Relationship Destroyer after what just went on with the Apex team, would you want to be tagged by him? Probably not. As now, though, Chase Owens trying to continue against James Shadow. Oh, big, yeah, big shoulder tackle there. But now, Chase Owens telling everyone to quiet down. Maybe he's going to try and get the first elimination of the night. Maybe he is, has him up. And oh, see our power bomb, but not cover a cover. And maybe feels like a power bomb's not enough. Yeah, maybe indeed. As now, no, trying to go for a big punch. And, oh, big Claymore kick! Oh, huge, and that could be it. Chase Owens could be out of it. Two! No! Oh. Chase able to stay alive. Yeah, able to stay alive. Able to still got fight in him. And oh, but Cheshire's caught Chase Owens. And oh, snapping the fingers. As now, has a. Oh. Big take down there by Chase Owens. Oh, trying to stomp, but not able to reach him. Jin Shadow, big DDT. Yeah, huge float over DDT as Chase Owens is now in trouble. Yeah, he certainly seems in trouble here. He was trying to go for the big punches there, but not able to get him. Missing the Nino. Now it's Chase Owens. Big hits into the mix, into the back of that, and the big kick to follow up. A yeah, huge super kick right into the jaw. Chase Owens, he needs to cap this. He should just be standing around. What is he playing at? I think he's trying to think of what strategy he wants to go for next. But now it is a great combination. I definitely think the best moves he could have done. Rope break there. Well, if he had hooked that leg away from the rope, that could have been it. It could have been elimination. A mistake for Chase Owens. Now, oh goodness, good backstabber. Now what is Jane Shadow looking to do? What has he got planned up? Uh, it's taking his time, that could be a mistake. It has him up a big chase on his dark cover. One, two, no! Oh. Jonathan Reed looks like he was able to break it up. And in the nick of time, he was able to get there. Jay Shadow looks like he's going to look to tag out. No, he's not. He's always now. Oh, what Jay the... Shadow, what is he looking to do? Oh, no. This is not looking good for Chase Owens. No, it's really not. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Huge super pass to the outside. Chase <laughs> Owens could be knocked out. He looks like we've decided to use cheap but look at this. tonight. But, well, maybe the actual padding is stronger than I suspected. Yeah, but oh, oh my god, big shoulder breaker there. And I'm just kneeling over him. He looks like he's trying to teabag and come on, it's not what 2005. <laughs> There's all, oh, but now just the big stomps here. No count outs. Eliminations have to be inside the ring, but now, what is Jin Shadow looking to do? Just, oh, just stop it away at the hat. 
Right into the glass. As now James Shadow, what is he looking for? Has Chase Owens up here? And now, oh, oh, again, oh. over that big shoulder breaker there. It's, it looks like Ray Wolf wants to try to get back on the apple, but Morgan's having none of it. Oh, my <laughs> God, a hammer look arm breaker. Yeah, definitely uh, Morgan not Morgan allowing... Morgan looks like he said, no, you can't come up here, you scumbag. And, oh, okay. Weird, weird, <laughs> weird show of flexibility there. But now, Jaden Shadow taunting there. That allowed Roy Pierce oh. to get back inside the ring. Big drop kick there on Jaden Shadow. Yeah, huge drop kick. Now, nice of it. Balfour of no ball in TJ Isa. We, we, we saw how that didn't work out for them previously. But maybe they just have to try to sit off with a spear. Yeah, here's spear there by Morrowolf. Now, what is Morrowolf looking to do? Has Roy up and oh, big side slam there. Yeah, the spike suplex that it kept up and oh, Rake of the eyes. Yeah, yeah, I'll go for the cover. One. Two, no, we one. As we see now, the captains facing off against each other. Yeah, I mean, really, the first time the captains are facing off against each other here tonight. Big DDT. Now, what is Rory looking to do? Could he get the first elimination? One, so. two, and well, you see, Liam, he went inside the ring saying he got this, but then didn't even try to break it up. I oh, didn't, and he got close on that, the ring for his trousers. Now look at this, TJ is put into the ring. Yeah, here comes TJ Ace, so definitely you're trying to do something here. This big close line there. Now go for the cover. One, two, no! As you see, Chavez is actually a lot quicker there to help out Morgan Wolf compared to Liam Wolf. As now though, big punches here. Could Morgan Wolf be trying to eliminate TJ Ace? Oh, he's looking so and then the big high maker. Could have actually knocked out TJ Ace despite he's only been in the ring a little bit. It's a cover hook of the leg. One, two, no! Just a two count as Roy Pierce is going to ring. Maybe he's looking to help but didn't need to. Uh, wolf spite! It's the wolf spite! But Rube but break! Oh, oh uh, my god. That could have been the first elimination. John Farido is right there. Yeah, he's, he was right there, so interested, but now, oh, just working on the arm of TJ Ace. Yeah, big hit into the midsection. Now, TJ has him up. That's oh. him up, and oh, goodness. But, oh god, it's not. F what the Look hell is this? this? I don't know how Morgan's exactly meant to tap out to this submission hold. Oh. I guess he did. But, but Morgan eliminated it with the first elimination. Now, Liam was forced to come in, but. Well. This is now TJ so got the first elimination. <laughs> No, look at this though. Fingers about, but let's not think about it. Yeah, I, I, I think um, I think Morrison was trying to add some special effects. Ah, there's a uh, TJ Ace is icing up. <laughs> He's acing up here to try to go against Liam. Interesting, Liam was the first one in after Morgan was eliminated. Now look at this though. Oh, but no, no. TJ's countering. Maybe Lee Wolf is to try and prove a point. Two! No! Oh, imagine if that eliminated him. Could you imagine as now TJ Ace has him up? And oh. And oh, good! Dropped Lee Wolf on his head. And dropped him on his head. Cover! Two! Three! Both the Wolves have been eliminated. TJ Ace oh for boy. both the eliminations. Things are not looking good for Team Apex, but Jaded Shadow, could he be about to eliminate TJ Ace? Two! No! 
as well as you see that Apex still has all four members still in and Team Apex is down to two. Yeah, they're down to two. I think the tension between the Wolves really was just too much for the team. But now Chase Owens tagging himself in. Yeah, tagging himself in. As, uh, uh oh. What, what? I, I, I do hope you realize. I, I think. Team, <laughs> I think Chase Owens didn't realize TJS was still in the corner. <laughs> oh, man. This is now cover one, two. No, Jin Shadow not eliminated there. As you see, well, Flame Wolf now forced to go backstage. Yeah, said things look so good for Team Apex up until we said last weekend. I, I think that Morgan and Lee were trying to one up each other, prove they are a better man. Yeah, I think that it were, but it just. I mean, Morgan first eliminated Ben William. Now, Jaden trying to eliminate Chase Owens. He needs this here, but Rory Pierce. Able to stop it there. And yeah, was able to as now all oh, snap in the face. And also I noticed some when that submission hole was locked in by TJS. No one came in to help one, but oh big Wait. flatliner. Flatliner, cover one, two, three, and oh no. Oh boy, and it is all down. Chain Lass <laughs> looked like he just didn't wanted no part of that. Yeah, it is all down. To the J Factor, it is all down to Jay Mercer. This could be a queen. So we two eliminations by TJS. Could we see two eliminations here by Chase Owens? You yeah, could wait to so think a few weeks ago you were so high up on Apex. But wait! Relationship oh. Destroyer! <laughs> relationship Destroyer, oh no. Don't think. I mean, that's the real reason Team Apex also failed. Was Team Jay Mercer. One of his moves of relationship to Two, three. Chase Owens eliminated. Could Jay do it? Is there a chance? Can we see a sole survivor? The Jay Factor. Jay trying to do it here. Yeah, Roy. trying to do it all by himself. Could, yeah, could you imagine? I mean, Jay, he has been away all these weeks. The we only time we've seen him was the training camp. You, wait, he caused the relationship. Do you think he caused the fight? Between. Oh my god. If he did that, I mean, at least he could end up blowing up in his face, though. I mean, I mean yeah, if he manages to, like, solely like, solo survive this, get the victory for Team Apex, you've got to think Coach Morgan is going to give him all the opportunities in the world. Yeah, but. Oh, but a cold oh. breaker there! Roy oh, Pierce! I think, never mind. Might be a never mind. No one's gonna be able to break it up. One, two, three, and that is a win for Team Battlefront. Almost a clean sweep. Chase Owens still coming into the ring to celebrate. I mean, yes, if you want to. <laughs> I think it was that training camp. I think it was the good it was supposed to do it was all taken away when the hacker revealed what really happened. Battlefront. Big win to start it off here. But now, Jay Mumba gonna go against Lance Romance. Extreme Rules United States versus European Championship here. Yep, yeah, we'll see. Can, Ali, can Apex at least claw back a victory here? As we're now in the actual proper arena. Mm -hmm. But we'll be back at the baseball stadium at some point for the women's one. For the main event. But for now, though, the the, you know, the, the in-between is going to be all in this arena here. It's coming out now. It is the United States Champion, Jay Mamba. Yeah, the man who will be representing Team Apex of this one as United States Champion. Though, to, thinking about it, Jay Mamba... It seems like he's not a big fan of, like, uh, trying to, you know, go about brand supremacy. Yeah, I mean, on social media, he was very against the, the brand supremacy. He, it seems he's cared more about the solo part of it. But, I mean, he is going to get the singles match. He's going to try and prove who is the better champion. Yep, I mean, you said, can he claw 
Bang of each week, four Teemo packs. And get it into drawing numbers. But will the townful baby of Apex continue? It could very well be indeed, but I mean, fortunately enough, that training camp has nothing to do with this match. So J Mumba and Lance Romance is all between them. But like you said, though, J Mumba, he doesn't really care for the brand supremacy, as he said before. So is he going to truly give it his all? Especially when he knows he's going to defend his title in a triple threat. I mean, very soon we've been going against Danny Six and the Don Sean. Yeah. He said, is that going to be playing in, in the back of his mind? Is he going to be too focused on that? Because look, doesn't too much care for the whole idea of brand supremacy. So is he not really going to put his all into the match? Or maybe think more about you know, defending the United States Championship in that triple threat when he has to. Could, but, but at the same time, knowing Coach Morgan, especially after that disappointing loss in the first match, we could see him be defending his title on Monday night if he loses here. Jeff, very well could be. As well, coming out next, it is the European Champion, Lance Romance. Yep, yeah, we all wondered before his big title defense whether he was actually going to be in condition, be able to defend the championship. But he proved anyone who was doubting him wrong. As he went into that match and successfully defended it, and now. We'll see if he could, you know, get a victory for Battlefront. It's not again. 2 0 up against you know, Team Apex. Now we're going to see if he's going to be able to do just that. I mean, we saw, like we said, what happened in the opening match, the men's Civil War match. I mean, it was absolutely disgraceful by Apex. I mean, oh, they got. Yeah, eh? Jay got one elimination towards the end, but it was all over by that point. Yeah, it pretty much was. I mean, when he got that, you know, that one elimination of us, we did stop work as well. I imagine if he could clean sweep, but then, you know, he got cocky after that. And Roy Pierce just went, you know what, I've had enough. Hit that code breaker, and it was all over. And it could very well be indeed. I mean, when. I mean, it was crazy though. There was a spark of hope. Maybe, maybe Battlefront even said, "Hey, which is what Chase fall here? Let's give him, let's give Jay a little spark of hope and just put him away." Because yeah, that that's really be what it. it seemed what happened. Yeah, give him a spark of hope. He'll get overconfident and cocky because that's the, way the years I've known Jay has. That's always been a trait of his, and unfortunately, trait of him is he can get overconfident. Think too highly of himself, and I think that's what happened. I and mean, he Battlefront the, played their cards perfectly. I mean, he was the first ever Triple Crown champion. That is very true. But it, uh, remember, he was never able to defend it, but then it was kind of cursed. With that, that. that was kind of everybody. But, I mean, Travis Hurd was able to defend it. Well, what's, we're going to see if he's going to be able to beat the knockout champion later on tonight. But for now, though, United States versus European. Oh. Who do you got going on this one, Jason? No, as I said, I feel like Lance Romance is probably more focused on the old brand supremacy and trying to really do it here tonight for Battlefront Gaming, you know, more ahead. Well, Jay Mumba, I think he'll be more, more concerned about that big tall defense he's got to do mm -hmm. against Vaishon and Tanny Six. And as we said, he didn't seem to much care for brand supremacy. Yeah, and we just saw, you know, a big, oh, there he is again, a big European oh. uppercut from our European champion. Yep, show you exactly why. He's <laughs> very European champion, because he's much European. <laughs> Although I don't think he is actually European himself. Uh, I, don't, yeah. I don't actually know off the top of my head. But, Jay Mama, though, trying to get up here, big strike, but, look at this, though, Lance Romance, just brushing it up here, and now, a Big lethal assaults there against J Mumba, but no. Go for cover. Then no hook and leg, but I feel like maybe, you know, just try to use his weight. This, oh, God, right to the back of the head with that elbow strike. Yeah, but oh. again, just launches him into the air. 
And Jay rolling to the outside. I mean, it definitely does seem like Jay's not in his usual mode here tonight. It definitely seems like his mind is elsewhere. Like we said, he could be thinking about that triple threat title match he has in the future. But now, though, oh. Oh. it is extreme rules. We are seeing a candlestick in play. Yep, great. That's a candlestick. I remember maybe has found what he needs to do. You know, using the weapons, he's looking for a different weapon. What's he could grab this time? Well, he's got a sledgehammer. Yeah, he's got a sledgehammer now. Just raining down strikes onto Lance Romance. Because all is now has him up. What is Jay Mama looking to do? Just throwing him into the ring post here. Yeah, Jay Mama is trying to get extreme with this one, which of course he is extreme with me. He's Trying to show the brutal hardcore side, but oh, oh turn about is fair play. But look at Jay Mamba. Yeah, look at Jay Mamba. Uh -oh, get it back no. in, but the sledgehammer in hand, but not able to use it. No, oh, Jay's now he's starting to get into it. Now he's starting to feel it here. Big close lines. And oh, now jumping one there. No, oh. ducks under. And another because I'm in the cap up. Yes. Oh, BRKO! And a huge cutter is. But wait, wait, Austin Collins coming down with a candlestick attacking J Mamba. But. I mean, it's extreme rules. Anything goes. Why is Austin Collins assisting Lance Romance? Yeah, I said we saw him on the pre-show, of course, losing to Alex Cicely. I would, yeah, I wanna know what that's all about. I mean, is that possibly why we've had the big Civil War matches at the baseball stadium and everyone else here, so, you know, interferences, you know, can't happen? Could very well be indeed. I mean, we, we saw there, but now Lance Romance going for the cover. Two, but no Jay's gonna be able to stay in it. You gotta think he is he is worn out now. He's got attacked by Austin Collins with a cast, but I wonder what that's all about. It's, oh god! Oh neck bro, that could be it, could be all over. Two, no! Oh. Jay Mamba though, kick it out, but you can see he's not actually got up and now now. Answer man looks to put the final nail in the coffin. It's now look at this. Lance has him set out power bomb into the cover. Two three and Lance Romance with assistance from Austin Collins picks up a victory over Jay Mumba and Battlefront continues to stride high. Yeah, they sat later, they do continue to ride high. I mean, my God, I mean, still, was Austin Collins, was that sent out there by Dom to do that, or was he acting on his you know, own accord there? I don't know what to make of what we just seen. I don't really know what we really saw there. Well, when Austin Collins, did he do it to help the Battlefront brand, or did he do it to help Renance Romance? I'm sure we'll get those answers. Thursday night on Battlefront, but for now though, the European champion gets the win over the United States champion here tonight. Yes, uh, it does, but well, we continue Civil War on. Yeah, we continue Civil War on. It is 2 nothing Battlefront right now, and the Prestige are going to be looking to try to continue that here as they go against Apex's John Woods. Yeah, good, okay. Yeah, can. Can it continue? Can this run of bad form from Apex continue? Yeah, could it continue indeed as well? Coming out now it is Matt Bailey. Yeah, one half of the tag team champions, Matt Bailey, they're going against George. So he is, I'd say, more used to tag teaming, now got his secrets, but then the same is said of Philip the Chords, you know, he's predominantly a tag team guy. So, neither really has an advantage, I feel like. Well, I mean, when we were going into this match, I mean, the tag team champions, they were told that Coach Morgan was going to handpick some people from 
tag teams on Apex that go against them in singles matches here. And he chose John Woods of the Church of White. And he chose Dan Masters of Ace, which that is going to be going on right on tonight against Philip Sheffield. But for now, though, coming out now, he is the leader of the Church of White. It is John Woods. Yep, and well, we'll see if John Woods, with all this pressure on him now, can you know get a victory back for Apex? As I said, this is a high pressure situation for John Woods. It's all on him to, you know, at least try and get Apex into winning ways. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking good right now for Apex. They need a big win and they need it now. I hope John Woods said his prayers before making his way down to the ring. Because right now, it seems like Apex needs them. Especially against going against, well, one of the best tag teams there is in the Prestige. Granted, it's a singles match. But they don't get those big wins all going for that year on tottering out of just luck and just teamwork. It is also their in-ring capabilities that gets them there. Yeah, that is so, so true. So, you know, I say about maybe don't have an advantage, but maybe Matt Bailey does have a slight advantage, you know, of course, being one half the tag team champions, momentum is truly on his side, you know, is the prestige is, you know, really quite close to, of course, that year-long title reign. It's close, well, it's close, but it also seems far away. So close, it's so far indeed. I mean, we did just see them defend it against Hardcore English. Now we've got to be wondering who's going to be going after them next. Could it be the Church of White? We've seen them go for it when they were the Pirates trying to go after them. But now, can we see them going for it with a big win here tonight in singles action? Could they be moving up their rankings and trying to go against the Prestige? Or is Matt Bailey going to beat John Woods here and not worry about people that they've faced before? Yep, we'll see, but it's an interesting thing here for a fist match. Jaws was to win, maybe, you know, it's, it's a singles match, of course, but, you know, the Church of Light could be seeing themselves getting close to tag title shots. Mm -hmm. Said, you know, the Church of Light against the Prestige, I feel like, could be a monumental match. Just look at this big combination from John Woods. A big combination. I mean, John Woods, he is, of course, the leader of the Church of White. I mean, you don't get to be a leader of anything without having any skills of your own. I mean, you got to think John Woods could have what it takes here to get the win against Matt Bailey here, against the Prestige. Right now, though, trying to go for the legs, but Matt Bailey was able to get it there. I mean, Matt Bailey, I think he's going to be the better technical wrestler here. John Woods going to have to find another sort of style here to combat Matt Bailey or it could be the end yeah very well could be Chawood's picking up Matt Bailey and oh it's a big hammering fist yeah it's now what is John looking to do big hit into the midsection there now going after the arm and could he make Matt Bailey tap out here but no, that future armbar is not going to put away Matt Bailey's hits that suplex. As now, though, what is Matt Bailey looking to do? Big hits here. Yeah, I know. Just so what has he got? What in the world? What is he getting oh, locked in here? Oh. And, oh, God. Just stretching the arms. He was almost like trying to rip them out their sockets and then just boots him. Yeah, just that big boot. And now, what is Matt Bailey walking into? Going to go to the outside. Meet with John here. Is now throwing him back inside. Yeah, so that move, it, it went from like technical ability to just brute force. So it went to the boom, but oh, big double A spine buster. Yeah, big spine buster there, but oh wait though, John able to catch the leg there. Is now what is John Woods going to do? He's trying to go for a boot, but swatted away by Matt Bailey. Matt trying to go for that disc. Oh, what the heck? What? But Rainmaker oh, anyway. I, I think one, two, 
I think Matt was still barely able to see John even with that miss because he was able to grab the arm to go in that Rainmaker. But, oh my, what was I that I'm miss? That there's not been a disqualification. I, I think I, I think the ref's equally as uh, confused, confused as we are. Or, or puzzled, some might say, as we are. <laughs> but now, what it is, though, Matt able to continue. I, I think, I think maybe the miss just barely missed him there, and that might be yeah, also he, he why. He able to cover his eyes at those split second. Maybe as he was looking, you know, for that backhand into the face, it blocked out the mist, and then able to execute, of course, that rain made a big shot. But oh, George fires back. Yeah, fires back there. Oh, big hold on to the back of the head. Now, what is John looking to do? Has Matt Bailey up? And all going off the ropes, and then again! And all throwing him to the outside, Matt Bailey finally oh. got rid of him, but John going to the top oh, rope! To the top. Double oh, axe top handle! Oh. Jinx! <laughs> you owe me a soda. No, you owe me a soda. I jinxed you. Yeah, but you didn't call the soda out. John, go for the cover! Can it be enough? No, only a one! John's in disbelief! He can't believe it. Matt Bailey was able to kick out so easy, but Matt Bailey misses it down and gets thrown to the outside. And now, John, and again with that oh. miss, but wait, he was able to block it again. Yeah, he was able to, that time we actually seen him probably block it. Yeah, but, oh, oh a big Superman punch. Yeah, big step up Superman punch. This isn't looking good for Matt Bailey. There's a big suplex there! The big time German suplex and now... But oh, Matt oh. Bailey has him! Oh. Big side suplex there! George rolls the outside though. Why is he rolls? But of course that very instant the Matt Bailey, he's not gonna let George catch his breath. It brings it back inside. Yeah, and that is of course that great veteran this there of Matt Bailey to continue after John Woods, but John able to somehow catch a little bit of breath to come back, but a big spine buster yet again, and could it be Catches enough? It. Two, three, Matt Bailey picks up the victory. It is oh. three, nothing, Battlefront. Yeah, three, nothing, Battlefront. Battlefront are dominated. Apex needs to get his act together. I mean, Coach Morgan's got to be backstage absolutely fuming at what's happening. Yeah, he's got to be... He was so confident. He was so confident, but now it's 3-0. It was ever since that men's getting almost slept. But now, Brittany Blake going to be going against Crimson Raven. And Crimson Raven recently debuting on Apex, getting a big victory. It was able to impress Coach Morgan enough to send him... To send, sorry, send her against Brittany Blake here, but this is the women's champion representing Battlefront right now. Coming out to the ring is the women's champion Brittany Blake. That is true. This is the women's champion Brittany Blake. But when you look at her Crimson Raven, you you're like the stand. I feel like my coach book picked her to go against Brittany Blake. Uh, of course, pretty great, you know, she's women's champion for a reason, she's impressive in the ring. You know, she ended the long total reign, of course, of Ham Parade, so I mean, many people were shot by, but can we see Pretty Blake, you know, get a big victory here tonight and get part of uh, for nothing up, can you imagine? I think, I think if they go for nothing up, I don't think Apex can even come back. No, oh, whatever they get. So I said about John Woods, the incredible amount of pressure against him, but you know, because the Raven probably has even more pressure against her. Yeah, I mean, so much pressure right now against Crimson Raven is now coming down to the ring representing Apex. It is Crimson Raven. The Crimson Raven, of course. You said it represent Apex, so this is. This is her, 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 only her second match here 
when she has a tremendous amount of pressure put against her. Ah, she's on fire! And the fire rain ends, but Crimson Raven, I mean, she was able to get a big win. It was really a dominating win on Monday night, but she's going against the women's champion. She's going against the woman that beat Amber Reed, one of the longest, you know, title runs that we've had. But now, Crimson Raven has a huge opportunity to take out Brittany Blake, but can she do it? Can she do it? It's a tall order for Crimson Raven, you know, a lot of pressure. Is being put against her. As I said, you know, Apex are free, nothing down. Battlefront owed dominate right now. So you gotta think she knows that in her mind, so the pressure is mounted against her, but I mean Brittany Blake, I think she's gonna realise what she's in for once, you know, the bear rings and she sees the uh, height and size of this woman. Yeah, it is absolutely insane really the height difference that we did see on Apex and now I mean Brittany Blake is in a small individual we're gonna see if we're gonna see that same difference there but I mean it is absolutely insane the momentum of Battlefront right now and they had to be feeling good right now but Brittany Blake is going against someone that like we said only in the second match sure dominating victory in her first match but still a second match. Yeah, it's still a second match. It is, you know, Brittany Blake is a different opponent across Crimson Raven in that debut match. I mean, she was toying around with her opponent, but I don't think she's going to be able to do that against, you know, Brittany Blake, the current women's champion. No, she's not going to be able to do that. But we're getting this match underway. Jason, does Apex even have a shot? You know, I mean, I am going to give. Apex an actual short here. You know, with all like Chris Raven has said, that first match she was dominating, it was brutal what she did, and I think she can give Brittany Blake a real run for her money and a real fight here tonight. It's, you you can just see the difference in size. Yeah, it is absolutely insane. I mean we don't know I mean I don't know about you, I don't know many women over six foot and we you said she was like yeah, six foot six, five. Six foot five was it six foot five? Two hundred and forty five pounds? She's we don't talk about woman's weight. <laughs> You're the one who brought it up first. You mentioned it in her debut. Uh, it, I'd it, like to remind you, you brought it up in her debut. I, I would like to remind you, I only mentioned the, the height. You did also get the same note. I, I, I didn't say the weight. Yes, you did. I'm pretty you sure said the weight. <laughs> That's but, the only reason I know. You think I look at my notes? You should. You're a professional, right? Yeah, I'm a professional, which means I don't need to look at said notes. <laughs> yeah, but now look at this. What <laughs> in the world? Oh, goodness. I mean, right now, the Battlefront is riding. The momentum is so high for Battlefront. I don't even know if there's even a chance right now for Apex to even come back. I mean, they got to win every single match for the rest of the night. It's, oh, but murder. Maybe, maybe with murder, they could get a win. I don't know that'd be so late, but actually pretty big. She's alive, I mean, she might be very much hurt, but oh, look at that big punch. Yeah, that's that's the even bigger pressure for Crimson Raven. I mean, she she knows the fact that if uh, she loses this match, it, it's basically over for Apex. They could win, win on their max matches, but Battlefront still wins it all. Yeah. It's just insane. I mean, we also still have a very invigorating match. Oh, wait. Cover? No. Uh, uh, the only non Apex versus Battlefront match of the card, the old one, Joe Blade's going to be going against Brandon Alexander. That's going to be a big one. I mean, obviously, Battlefront would win that match since both members are Battlefront. But that's not going to go for the totals. But now, <sighs> I'm very sure that match is up next. It's going to be insane on that one. But right now, we could be going into that. All Battlefront matches, Battlefront giving the career victors of the night. Could very well could be as now. And it's all for driving ahead of Pretty Bike into the map there. Uh, and yeah. Sir Cruiser Raven is giving Pretty Bike a beautiful fire, doing everything she can. And oh, big super. 
And big suplex there is now. Brittany Blake taking it down. It's all big kick taking down Crimson Raven. And oh wait, looked like she was going to go for the cover, but thought better of it. But dropping those knees into Crimson. Now, the cover, no. Oh, it's now big hit into the midsection. Now, what is she going for here? Big side backbreaker there, backstabber. Yep, nasty for Chris Rory. Now, pair up, but oh, just, yeah, punch, and now it just throws Brittany Blake down. Is now Crimson going for the cover? No, only a one. Yeah, just one mean Brittany Blake, it says she is the women's champion. It said she's, you know, the best one we have here. So it's a tall test for Chris Rivers. A big suplex again, but imagine Crimson Raven wins. They'd get a right up there as a contender for the women's title. Yeah, it definitely would indeed. It's now the big side turn, but we can't forget though, I believe actually right now, during the, the lead up to this pay-per-view, Parasito did actually pick up no more contendership on the Apex side. So she would have to wait until after that. But right now though, I mean she can get a big win. I mean who knows what kind of strings Coach Morgan might pull. Yeah, that is very true. Especially yeah, since set. Apex needs this victory right now. Yeah, they need this victory. But if Apex, you know, don't win this, I mean, how many strings can they pull with Carrie Corbin? As look at the big knees into the chest. As always, now going for the cover, Brittany Blake. No! But Brandy, surprised she wasn't able to put away Crimson Raven there. Crimson trying to really threaten the champ. Has Brittany Blake up? Big! Fireman's carry there. Now, cover! One! One variant. Two! No! Crimson this close to getting Apex some sort of hope. Yeah, it was so, so close. It wasn't close enough. But now we're gonna sell Crimson. What is she looking to do? Throwing her into the corner. Big drop kick again into the corner. Now, what is Crimson Raven looking to do? Going for the cover. Could that be yeah, enough? Has the leg hooked. Two! Three! No, it does it! Oh, wow. Crimson Raven has clawed back a victory for Apex. Big victory there! For Apex, as Crimson Raven picks up a victory over Brittany Blake, beats the women's champion. It's yeah. oh my, as insane. I mean, that is insane, but it's a big victory for Crimson Raven. Only her second match, she's clawed back a victory for Apex. You gotta think, I mean, Coach Morgan has got to be ecstatic with Crimson Raven right now. He has to be indeed, as they're up now 3 1, but now we're gonna get a little break from the Apex versus Battlefront match, as Brandon Alexander is gonna go one on one with the old one, Joe Blake. Oh, come on, Brandon Alexander. Teach that Joe Blade a lesson. I'm sick of the clergy. Is now coming down to the ring. It is Brandon Alexander. Oh, Brandon Alexander, the man who woke up to the best of the what, what, clergy. What, what, what's going on? The lights are out. Hello? Hello? Oh, come on. Oh, no. oh, no. We've seen this kind of tactics before. No. Right now, Jacob Wells talking to Brandon saying, I'm sorry, Brandon. I tried to protect you from the old one as long as I could, but now you angered him, and we'll see a side of him that no one has seen. All I'll say is good luck. This is going to be good for Brandon. Oh, God. I still believe in Brandon. I believe he can get it done. And he can defeat the clergy's old one. Yeah, well, we're seeing how the old one goes and saying, Jacob, I need to face him. I'm independent now to prove this. I need to face him. It's either now or never. Now get out of my way. Brandon, it looks like he's going to be trying to really fight Joe in his mind like we've seen with him. With Dustin before, but what what's what's going on? What, what's up? But oh wait, what? But now we're in with Joe Blade. Boy, it is Brandon. He's gonna bring the fight. Up to lights again. Come on. But oh no, Joe Blade taking it back. 
He keeps what is this? this? What the hell? Oh no, 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 not the fire! But oh, oh no, Brandon's no, getting closer no, to the no, fire! No, stop, stop, no! Someone save Brandon, please! As, oh no. no. This isn't good. It's now Joe saying, Brandon, you have been thrown in the flames and we will be seeing your past before you. We're in the clergy, going back to your debut when you won, when you were just a loser because you didn't have us. Boy, the minds went over you like you were nothing, and you were washed us until you decided you realized we made you and, became, and become part of the family again. No, someone needs to stop this right now. Someone help Brandon Sander. And you say that these guys don't, the clergy don't brainwash, and this psychopath doesn't brainwash. As well, there's Brandon Alexander. I mean, we we saw him before when he used to be dressing in his Spider-Man attires. But now we're seeing Boy in the Mice going for here. Is I, I I know we're called ringing the bell. We're hearing a lot of bells being rung here. It's now Boy in the Mice working over here against Brandon Alexander. And right now we are inside the mine, of course. Of Brandon, as this has been done before. Boy, did win that night. Bells are rung. <laughs> Brandon Alexander saying, All right, I've seen what happens when I'm independent and seen the error of my ways save me from these flames no, and bring no. me back home to the family where I belong. Back into the clergy. No. As the, the timekeeper's going crazy right now. I, I think he's being possessed. <laughs> Somebody stop this! Somebody say brands at it! No, don't go back to the clergy! You're better than this! As now, I think we're gonna go back... There's no... <laughs> Extinguish him is saving him! Finally, the old one saves him! Oh, 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 oh! Now look at this! Wait, we're back in the ring now! <laughs> we're back in the ring! Joe Blade going for a cover! Two, three, and the old this one. Is a, this is a bullshit. I'm sick of the clergy. <laughs> Someone needs to really stand up to them. Someone should stand up to them. No. Why? Yes. The clergy have done nothing wrong. Oh, oh. Suppose you know putting someone on fire just to mess with their mind because you don't like the fact they want to get away from your bullshit is. Uh, and we, remember we saw this picture before, the whole Korean was brought up, Brandon Alexander wasn't there. There he is, he's a no. part of the family again. Ring that bell, the family's back together. I'm sick to death of this. Well, that was probably going to be the quickest match of the night, but we're going to be moving on. Phil Sheffield versus Dan Masters. I can't believe we've just seen that. This is sickening. As well, coming out now, it is the other half of the. Of, I almost said the clergy. Over half of the prestige, it is Philip Sheffield. That's what we saw. His fellow teammate, Matt Haley, went earlier. But really, you know. Took, of course, Pathfinder to be of course, at the time, free nothing up, but now, I mean, it, they're free one up, so, you know, pressure is still on for Apex, pressure is still on Tam Masters here, you know, the match before Crimson Raven, she was able to, you know, rise to the pressure can Tam Masters against this pan, Philip Sheffield. Now, I mean, we saw the uh, Prestige get the big win before over John Woods, but now we're going to see Dan Masters make an attempt here as well. Like I said, coming out next, representing Apex, representing Ace, it is Dan Masters. Yeah, well, we shall see, you know, with the pressure on for Dan Masters, you know, to get Apex another victory, so you know their their deficit is is then you know three two. You see if he can rise to that, or whether you know Philip Sheffield basically ruins everything for Apex. 
I mean, we could see the prestige ruin it for Apex here tonight if Dan Masters doesn't get the win. But I mean, Dan Masters, he's going to be doing his best to try and get a win. I mean, he, he was put into this match by Coach Morgan. I mean, we saw what Coach Morgan thought of him before when the Eli Draco attacked him, saying there was a plan. But now there could be redemption here for Dan. There could be redemption for Dan, but first of all, he's no push off. He's one half the tag team champions, and you now he's got to be run on half momentum. Seeing his fellow prestige member pick up a big victory earlier in the night. And as well, we're getting this match underway here. Jason, we having this one. You know, I mean. I'm going to go with the prestige, you know, I'm going to go for Phil Schiffer, one of the tag team shows there. That momentum is so high for the prestige. You know, they want to continue on with major victories getting to that. Of course, what do you tag to run? Of course, the title's not on the line here tonight, but I think Phil Schiffer really wants to prove a point and get a major victory for Battlefront and really close the deal. And see, well, what basically make it that he was the one who got Battlefront the victory. Yeah. I mean, we could see there. Yeah, I mean, Prestige trying to add another accolade for Amir tonight, saying, "Oh, we got the victory for Battlefront because they were able to beat them Masters." I mean, what last year during Civil War, Apex won the night, but Battlefront won the actual Civil War matches. But right now, we could see Battlefront winning both of them, but. Actually, I think it would actually be both ways we could possibly see. Yeah, we possibly could. I mean, the difference, of course, this year's Civil War compared to last year's was, of course, you know, Battlefront had a huge advantage with, you know, well, at least for the men, you know, the Apex team there in the Civil War match, they just, they weren't really a team. There was some issues. I don't know if it's going to be the same for the women. I mean, are they going to be... Issues on that team. It could very well be. In Casey and Aria, will there be? I mean, you got to be thinking that they, they have to saw the footage as well. There has to be tension between, I mean, Aria, Aria and Casey Wolf. Yeah, I go off for that as well. But oh, that, that hit, it hit the knee, which I suppose is effective. But I'm not sure what Dan is going for there. Yeah, well, I mean, he was still able to keep advantage over Philip Sheffield, though. Still was an out to have us um, celebrate holograms. We can't get cocky. That hologram took a picture. Ah, uh, yeah, well, we the, established the holograms. Now. Yeah, becoming sentient. I mean, they, they yeah. literally walked to the baseball field. <laughs> yeah. But now... That, 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 is, that is how 2020 ends. The the, the Ring of Wrestling bots oh, become sentient and kill us all. You know what? For now, let's just enjoy the ride. Yeah. Whatever yeah, there I, is I, to I, enjoy. Um, <laughs> Tamos is very much enjoying what's happening, but oh, Philip Chevrolet hits him and then he snapped my tongue down and a big kick into the back. Big kick into the back. As now, we're this, though, going after the, the back of Philip Chevrolet. There's the whole way. Big hit into the midsection. Big oh. DDT. Oh, Hypermatic DDT and now cover. Hook off the leg. No, only a one. <laughs> Just a one count. That monster's can't quite believe it. Yeah, you can't believe it here. Big hit into the back of the leg. But now. Dan trying to go for a cutter there, not able to get it, and now Philip also going for a cutter there. Both men not able to get it, not able to hit it like Morgan Wolf could earlier tonight. Still didn't mean really anything for Morgan Wolf though. Hey, the work break. Is housing up. Oh, big face versus yes. Well, he made a mistake there. And as now Dan Masters, what is he looking for here? How romantic there! What is it the hyper rank? I don't know. Hyper rank. Two! No! <laughs> Philip able to kick out. Yeah, Philip Sherrod able to kick out. Damas has come, believe it. The signs of frustration. The mountain is now. Uh oh. Pump. Has a face buster. 
Big face buster there. Now, Philip going for the cover. Can he put away 10 Masters? Two. No. Uh, it is hyper rank. Yeah, the hyper rank. The hyper maxic is that DDT he does. It's all big chop block. Now, what is Philip looking yeah. to do? That's got his two big finishes. He's got the hyper rank, or he's got the yay yeah, yeah. So he names the pounce, the yeet. As now the boy that's so oh, stretching those arms. We, we saw my Paddy do this as well as oh, he's gonna boot him. First day it was all technical and then it just got all brawling. Yeah, definitely an aggressive boot. Two damn masses trying to sweep it away, but oh wait, Dan able to avert it there, but not able to get stopped. From being thrown back inside the ring is now Philip. We're gonna try and continue here against Dan Masters. Oh, has him. Oh. oh, wait, no. Dan able to no. stay on his feet. Yeah, he was able to flip out of that. And now, oh, bringing the elbow down into that face. As oh, it's now. What is it looking for here? He's raking in the face, it looked like. Yeah, raking out the faces now. Throwing him into the corner. No, oh, this doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. And oh, big bulldog. And now, go for the cover. Can it be enough? No, only a one. What does he have to do to put away Phil Sheffield here? I mean, Demos is looking for strength. He can't believe it. Oh, wait. This oh, look at this. Center of the ring. Score. Nowhere to go. But oh, oh, able to overpower him there. Yep, yeah, he's able to overpower him now, bringing Devastus back up. And now I uh -oh, pump handle. Face Buster! <laughs> no, go for the cover. Two! No, able to kick out. And you could see. For sure, not able to believe it. For yeah, Devastus defeated. And oh, oh, kicking in the legs. Yeah, this isn't looking good for Dan. It's now, what is he looking for? Oh, went for there. Not able to get it. Spinning heel kick in again. And it hits it once again. Davos is, is looking in control. Now, go for a couple. He's taking a bit of time. Two, but no. <laughs> Kicks out. Maybe if he went for it immediately, he could have gotten it there. But now, Philip trying to go after Dan. No, big DDT! A yeah, huge type DDT is that. Oh, oh what is it going for here? It's looking for a spear, maybe. Spear! That's it! Cover! One! Two! No! no. What? And Dan Masters is angry. He's frustrated. He cannot believe it. He thought it was over. It's now what it is. Going after him yet again. Sweep of the leg. Now just kick it at the leg. Now what's he got planned? Oh, tried for a cutter. We should have pushed him away. And it's all. Oh. <sighs> and suplex into the turnbuckle was there. But now Phil waiting on Dan. Now, sent up into the corner. Could he put away Dan? What's for up? But no, wait, oh. Dan, able to fight back. Yeah. Oh, and he decides not to go for high risk. Smart move, that's hypermatic DDT. Yeah, there's the big hypermatic taking it to the center of the ring. Can he put away? Is it going to be enough? One, two, no, oh. what? And again, it's that frustration. You can see it on Tamalista's face. He is in disbelief. But wait, oh. look at this! Hyper Ring! <laughs> it's the Hyper Ring. Surely this is it. I Come on! Another victory. Two! Three! Apex picks up another victory here. They are running on a high momentum after Crimson Ravens win. Yeah, they certainly are. Tamalistas has clawed back another victory for Apex. It's now Battlefront 3, Apex 2. It's 
A big win for Apex here. Big win for Dan Masters. And now we're going to be moving on. The Triple Crown Champion going against the Knockout Champion, Travis Turner, Harry Duke. Is Apex going to be continuing to come back here? Can Harry Duke beat the Triple Crown Champion? Can he prove the Knockout Championship is better? But we haven't seen the Harry Duke win a regular match. He's only one knockout. It's going to be very interesting, but right now, coming out to the ring is our Triple Crown Champion, Travis Turner. Yeah, the Triple Crown Champion, I mean, you know, there's pressure on him as Triple Crown Champion, I mean, he's, you know, he's meant to be really, said like the standard bearer for Rinder Burris and the guy that, you know, people look at as the very best around it. So that's the pressure on him, and of course, Apex is looking like they're in this comeback. Travis Turner could completely, you know, end that comeback if he was to win this matchup. Yeah, he could very well be indeed. I mean, he is the Triple Crown Champion. It is. Travis Turner is the only ever two-time Triple Crown Champion. And he's going to be looking to try and get a big win here tonight and beat Harry Duke. Yep, exactly well. The same about Harry Duke, you know. This is a very interesting set situation for Harry Duke. Yeah, he's won it knockout matches, but rare matches, it's not the same kind of result. Yeah, but I mean, could he have learned? Could he have gotten better ever since becoming knockout champion? Coming out now, he is the knockout champion, Harry Duke. Yeah, and we'll see if it can be Harry Duke to pick up victory tonight. I said the pressure is still there. You know, Harry Duke, he has to win this match to get things to Apex's side. So it's then, you know, free for free, and it all come down to the women's civil war. But, I mean, end of the day, though, Harry Duke, what he's been able to do in regular matches has not been able to, has been up to par to his knockout ability. I mean, we should have known that, of course, he came over from the MMA world, dominated over there, and that's why he was able to really dominate. Travis Turner jumping in front of the camera there, trying huh. to steal Harry through spotlight there. My goodness. I'm dead. So, well, we're going to get this match underway here. Who do you have in this one? Is Apex going to tie it up? Or is the Triple Crown Champion going to reign supreme? No, I think I'm going to, you know, give it to the Triple Crown Champion. Charles Turner, again, you know, when it comes to these high-pressure situations, it seems it does adapt to it and overcoming, you know, when it came to his title defense at the Triple Crown, you know, he was in a high-pressure situation to prove a point. And to become the first of a guy to, you know, Defend his toe in a singles match. Yeah, it is definitely insane that he was able to do it. I mean, we saw Travis Turner defended against, you know, bare men like Sergio Poutier. And it was just absolutely insane. I mean, to be fair, when he first lost his title, it was a triple threat with the Don Vachon, was then Alexander Vachon, and Sergio Poutier. Alexander Vachon won that match. But, I mean, he didn't lose it in a fair 1v1. This time he was able to prove that he can defend it when it was 1v1 against a monster like Sergio Poutier. Yep, so it is. Now, look, oh, working on the arm of Charles I mean, that How do that's something he's got to do. He's got to keep Charles Turner ground. I mean, he's got to try and use, like, his MMA style. Mm. To, you know, try and keep Travis Turner down, maybe go for some ground and pound, some submission holds. Let's look at this, or oh, has him into a spine buster. I mean, yeah, like you said, like we've been saying, he's able to knock out people. Now, if only he could just knock him out for a three count, or, like you said, use his MMA background, maybe even go for a submission. We already we did see a submission earlier tonight in the pre-show from Danny Six. It is possible. Can Harry Duke do it here? As he tries to go for a cutter, but Travis Turner stopping him there. Oh, he doesn't stop that German suplex. This Travis Turner is struggling against the knockout champion. There's now a cover hook of the leg. No, Travis Turner kicks out. 
a big kick out there. Now, what is he looking to do? Throwing him into the ropes, but no, not able to get him. There's no Ow. big neck break. And I, I just feel about something. Go on. I'm going to guess that security got tired after Austin Collins' stunt. Uh, what do you mean? Well, remember, he interfered. Yeah, he did interfere, and we haven't seen any interferences since. So, I mean, I think if one person wanted to beef up security, it's definitely going to be Coach Morgan. Definitely. There's now. Oh, but Travis Just Turner! Oh. Big shining lizard! Well, I feel like Dob would also want to beef up security just so Apex can, you know, get a little bit of revenge with that sort of tactic. There's now. Oh, look oh. at this though. Oh, oh, God! Tombstone pole driver! Yeah, huge tombstone there from Travis Turner. Now, what is he looking to do? Dropping on the big knee! Yeah, right onto the face of Harry Duke. Travis Turner's got his in control. So look at this combination! The sort of thing you expect Harry Duke to do, not Travis Turner. Yeah, definitely a great combination there by Travis. Maybe Travis trying to pick up a little bit of MMA as he knew he was going to be going against Harry Duke. But now look at this, though, Travis Turner driving him into the ropes. Oh, oh big knee to right to the gut. And now he just takes him down. He's up, but Travis turns and meets up and gets caught. And now, oh, he oh it's an arm bar. Has it fully locked in? Can Travis Turner get out of it? Yes, he does. Yeah, he does. I mean, his, he was trying to get his feet towards the ropes and wasn't close enough, so he then had to rethink his tactic. Yeah, broke out of that hold. Now yeah, he's able to break out of it here. Now, double action was here yet again, taking down Harry Duke. His old big kick there. Now, what is Travis Turner looking to do? But no, a big boot by Harry Toke. Now, Harry trying to put this one away, trying to get him into the ropes. Yep, has him in the ropes. What is Harry Duke? Or just, just driving that knee into that back, just trying to choke the life out of Travis Turner. Yeah, trying to choke him out there. He was looking groggy, but not groggy enough to hit that cutter. And now. Oh. Oh, cross yeah. off breaker again, but way oh, too close yeah. to the ropes. Yeah, far too close. I mean, of course, he had ever made that's not a thing, you know, in the octagon. But it is here, but look at his double underhook. Oh, has a pile driver there. No, and but Harry too. Look at this. Why is we going to the outside, trying to set some pace here, as it's not looking good for him now, but big elbows. Oh, but look at that. I mean, the one thing Travis Turner should not do is get in a striking match with Harry Duke, but oh, the underhook brain buster. Yes, now, look at this though, has him throwing him into the, into the ring. Now, what is Harry Duke looking to do? Working over on that arm yet again, and we've seen Harry Duke read this specializing onto one arm and I think that really is just a smart tactic from there just focusing on the one arm could maybe go for that arm breaker again in the future yeah, very cool. but look at that then working over the knee and if you can have you know switched up submissions if he needs to but now look at this I'll go for cover two no Travis <laughs> kicks out able yeah, to kick out Harry took can't quite believe it yeah, I can't believe it either Harry Tuto Maybe trying to put this one away. Yeah, maybe looking to. Maybe he's going for that arm bar again. No. Oh, no, has him up. Oh, the underhook brain buster. Huge brain buster. Middle of the ring. One, two. No, Travis kicks out. Travis kicks out, and Harry do cannot believe it. He thought he had just heard it down and out that he was going to get it all tied up. Yeah, he thought he had it. But now, trying to go for it here, trying to put him away. It's a big drop kick there by Harry Duke. Yeah, huge drop kick. Now going to the corner. What is he looking for? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's, oh, the punt! God, a brutal punt kick. That could have knocked out Travis Turner. It could indeed. Two. No, Travis oh, kicks what? out. How? And Travis Turner's getting up. 
is now big punch there. Oh, oh but oh, chicken wing. It cross with chicken wing. And Travis traps out. Oh my god. Battlefront was so dominant in the earth, like the beginning, but it's all tied up now. Three for three. Three for three. Harry Duke ties it up. The knockout champion somehow, someway, able to tap out the Triple Crown. Apex, now they are riding high, going into the main event. Riding high, going into the main event. My yeah, God. well. Before our main event, we got, of course, to talk about our sponsor, FNX. You guys, they are your one-stop shop for all your in-the-gym needs and even at home with Sweet Babe Hills to help you guys live an athletic lifestyle here. And use our code RTBW at FNXFit.com for 15% off. Hi. Wow, Civil War. This is going to be it. Battlefront Apex 3 3. The winner wins it all. And very fitting for our first ever women's main event here. As they're all the way already down in the ring, ready to get this started. Yeah, ready to get started. But here, we, I mean, the thing for this is it's free for free. You know, tired game. But. Where does the women's Apex 2 stand? Are they all okay with each other or are there the issues? That could be between, of course, Case Wolf and Aria Shadows. There could there be problems between Casey and Aria? They had to have seen that footage it was seen all around the world, shown on Battlefront. But now, look at this though. Quickly going for a cover. Only a one there. Yeah, just a one account. But now Alex has Casey Wolf up here. And now into the corner. What is she looking to do? Casey throwing Alex middle of the ring. And oh look at this. Oh, into a sucks of him into a cover. No we are one. And just a one account. And just a one count here is now we're gonna see Louise Bates make her way into the ring is seems a little bit you know a little bit more so affected, but I think it's fine. But no wait, Lou's gonna tag in Jordan Payne. I'm interested there. So she didn't want to but no oh, catch it. oh it's not a relationship destroyer, it's a Canadian destroyer. That's a Canadian destroyer when it's Jordan. If it, not, or, or, it could be a disappointment driver if it's uh Tom. That oh, could be. Let's now look at this to Alex Vader. That's Jordan Payne caught and oh, drives her head into the mat. Yeah, drove it into the mat. But now we're going to see Jordan Payne sling right in there on Alex. Yeah, you type slim blade. And now look at this. Rolls through. Yeah, rolls through. Has Alex up. And oh, <laughs> onto the knee. Very, you know, she is in trouble right now. Yeah, she is in it's trouble. Those cool. oh, now, oh yeah, so gorgeous society asking for a tag is a quick look at the Howard Grands. Looking great. Definitely was not a 40 minute match. We are oh, back. <laughs> Serenity inside the ring of blue. Now. Space fired up here against Serenity. Yep. She's all fired up, but she's got to stop taunting and focus in on, you know, getting on the attack on Serenity. But she's just standing there, which is giving Serenity an opportunity to catch her breath. Yeah, there's a way big hit there, missed, and then never missed there this time by Serenity. Now, huge kicks taking her down, but oh, now the big. Heel kick there is now. What is Louis Bates looking to do? And oh, just a stomping on the guts. Oh, so it's now. What is Louis Bates looking to do? Taking her into the corner here. And now just the boot into the face of Serenity. Yeah, just wearing my boots. Face ball. Serenity dodges out the way. 
Oh, but can't take advantage. Oh, but now kicked out of gut. Needs to close on until he breaks. There's now Serenity. What is she looking for here? So, we're just waiting. She's just waiting for Louise Bates to get up. Uh, she should not be waiting. She should be getting her up though and continuing on the attack. But she's more focused on Torn in. Yeah, more Look focused on Torn as Louise. Maybe she can get a tag, but no Serenity. Now she's going to stop her here. Big hit into the midsection. Now has her up and big oh. face buster there. Cover. One. Two. Three and Battlefront get the first elimination. They get the first elimination, but you notice that no one actually went in the room to break up that cover. I think I, I would have thought of all people Jordan Payne would have at least done that. You know, I think they thought that Louise was gonna kick out there, but was unable to. Now we're gonna get a tag now to Alex. Yeah, but well, I mean. <laughs> Now, now we're back to our thing of, uh, things not looking great for uh, Apex, but of course things could get turned around. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, just like that with the Dragon Screw take down as Jordan Bay, though. Her tag team partner has been eliminated. What's that gonna affect her, but now our oh, double under her. Oh, it's a pedigree! Yeah, it's a big pedigree here. Now, what is Jordan Payne looking to do? Maybe going for the... T going for the cover here. Yeah, but she's taking a bit of time. She's taking too much time here. Two. Now it kicks out there. So we're getting, well, TV interference. First one of the night. So. Damn it. <laughs> you, you figure a baseball stadium, this wouldn't be an issue. You'd hope it wouldn't. But then again, I mean, it's open top. Yeah, but now the TV interference is back here. Is now Alex in a, a power struggle there. Winning. Was Alex, but no, wait, now though, Jordan Britton up, Alex, <laughs> big set up, power bomb there. Good, well, big time power bomb, that is impressive. Jordan Payne, she is now feeling fired up. Did you see something of us, and she's now just taunting for, like, no good reason. Well, I mean, when, when the holograms go sentient, you're going to want them on your side. You are, but they're... There's, you know, doing the auto tour training on the side and then just not paying attention to your opponent, letting them get a breather as you're just you're too obsessed with sentient holograms. Yes, now so, though, Rosa yes. Garcia making her way inside the ring. There's a big jump toward here and that is wrenching back with a rope break there. Yeah, right in the ropes. Yeah, Rose Garcia is not going to put away by that, but oh, well, we're going to see a tag here. Yeah, it could oh. very well indeed, but no, no. Jordan's going to stick it out. Oh, she's going to try to go for a drive right here. Oh, and the running drive by drop oh. kick. My God, it hits the drive by drop kick. Can we see the elimination? Of Rosa Garcia, of course, the captain for the women. Two! No! Rosa stays in! <laughs> They're able to kick out, survives the drive by drug here, which not many people seem to be able to survive. But of course, Rosa Garcia, she hasn't been in there a long time, so she's not taking huge damage. Another rope right there is now Jordan trying to do whatever she can here against Rosa Garcia. I think she needs to maybe look to tag in one of her partners. But no, she's she's going to go for another one. Going for yet another drive-by drop kick. Oh, hits it again! <laughs> Could that now put away the Puffer Wings captain? But look at this. Look at Rosa Garcia. She's actually trying to crawl to the corner. As Jordan thinks she's a crab. And, well, gets a tag from Christina Jean's now in. Yeah, Christina Jean at the Gorgeous Society back inside the ring now. But now, working over on the back. He's now oh, picking up Jordan Payne. But no, Jordan Payne counts with Christina Jean here. And, 
And oh, Canadian destroyer. Yeah, big Canadian destroyer, Jordan Payne. Now, what is she looking to do? Yeah, picking up Christina. What big physical plan has her on the shoulders? And oh, brings her down the sidewalk slam. A huge sidewalk slam. Now, throwing her into the corner. Maybe trying to finally get a tag. But no, uh, Jordan no. Sting, you get in and going for yet another try by Dropkick. Yeah, she's looking for it again. She's obsessed with this move. It seems to be big try by Dropkick. Yeah, hits it once again, but look, Christina, she does. she's going to look for a tag and gets Alexander back in. Is this maybe what John Pace trying to do? Is whittle down each member of the team. Yeah, it definitely seems to be, but I mean, I think Jordan needs to get in a little bit quicker after the drive by drop kick. She's allowing too many tags right now. Yeah, she really is. And look at this, Alex Vega takes her to the corner. Oh, but John Pike, no. Alex Vega elbowed her away. It's now, look at this though. Big Dragon Suplex, another one. And the third and cover, oh, cover two. No. no. Now, what is Alex looking to do? Has Jordan Payne up a big takedown there? Not sure if I'm able to hear counter and oh, twisting front line a cover. Two. Three and Alex is eliminated. Yeah, it's yeah. The, the numbers are once again even. Yeah, once it's again. Oh, rake of the eyes though for Christina J. But what is she doing here? I, I, I thought she was going to try and go for a tag, but instead Jordan Payne finally <sighs> able to tag herself out, and now Casey Wolf inside going to try to eliminate Christina. Two, three, she does. Yes. My god, and now it's, now it's Apex in control as Serenity comes in. Um, let's say if Apex are going to win here tonight, can we just at least get rid of Casey Wolf? At least get her eliminated because she wants oh. Manny to do Doritos. That's heresy, and I hate her. Right now, though, it is looking high for Apex. Three on two. Big oh. Wolf trigger there. But now, could they eliminate Serenity? Can it be all down to Rosa? No, oh. Serenity able to kick out. Uh, Serenity is able to kick out. I mean, Kim Rosa Garcia would not have got there in time. She's very slow to get her in, but look at this. Serenity has her up. And oh, the girl that's slave from the torture cover. No, what? Kicks out of one. Now, look at this so though, Serenity. Oh! oh. They were there. Did they win the Casey in. Wolf? Two! No, Casey stays in. Able to kick out, my god. She's hyped on those dirty Manning Dude Doritos. Yeah, it seems to be. But now, though, Serenity trying to go for a big Super Pucks here. Oh, no. Oh no, to the outside! Oh my <laughs> god! Now, big super bucks there! Serenity taking control! Now, into the knee, and before she was even taken down, big moves there by Serenity! Yeah, huge moves. As now, I mean, of course, it's no can outs. Then they should have to go inside the rib, but Serena's just looking to do damage on the outside. Because now, what is she looking to do? Thrown back inside the ring by Serenity here. So, big kicks, and again! Oh my god! Serenity, could she knock out the captain? No! What? Are here shadows? It seems that one there is an actual bad blood between Arya Shadows and Casey Wolf. Yeah, it definitely seems to be indeed. Rosa Garcia now making her way back inside the ring, looking to go up high. 
Now going up high, what has she got planned here? No, second guesses herself. Yeah, second guess it. Maybe thinking that she was on the ground way too long that she would have reversed it there as she reverses her and throwing her outside the ring. But now back inside the ring the hard way here. Now Rosa throwing her into the corner. And a oh, big punch face. Oh, no, not again. Case we always tell you one of these. And he's going to see a second time. Yeah, second time oh. to Casey Wolf, this time by Rosa Garcia. Yep, superplex to the outside twice. Chase was back, has got to be screaming in pain. Has to be in tears now, He's being thrown. Into the ring post. Yep, thrown right into the ring there. Absolutely insane what Casey Wolf is going through right now. Rosa Garcia putting it through hell. The captains are fighting it out. Yeah, they sure are. This is set. Apex half three, battle for and half two is. Oh my god, a running set up powerbomb. Big set up powerbomb is now. What is Rosa looking at? They're throwing Casey Wolf around. Just throwing her around, but now is she. She's just going to stay on the inside, wait for Casey Wolf. No, she's going to throw her, but then she's going to be approaching the Apex side. Could yeah, be so detrimental. Has her big DDT. Oh, Casey Wolf. She's ready here. Is now just stomping down on Rosa Garcia. But oh, is now throwing her into the barricade. This doesn't look good for Casey. Does it? His big punches. Oh, but look at this Casey over medium up and no gets caught. Hey, Rosa Garcia. Yeah, I don't think she knew where she was. Got the, the head laying on the steel steps. It is not looking good for Casey Wolf. No, it isn't looking good for her at all. I mean, she, I think she, like, she needs to get a tag out. Just get one of her teammates in. But look at this. What is Rosa Garcia doing? Has her up and all oh, brings her down. And brings her down on the outside. Definitely looking happy about it. Certainly does, but Rosa Garcia needs to continue off and she needs to get Case Wolf back in the ring to score the nation and get the numbers back to fair. It's not just biting at the digits. Yeah, just biting away, of course. I mean, I feel like that'd be illegal. Well, apparently not as now Rosa again going back inside the ring and going back outside for Casey. I think she thinks that there's a count out here but there is not one to be had as now Rosa continuing but Casey Wolf able to get a braver enough to now get a comeback going oh and the snap suplex so it's now Casey has Rosa up now just throwing her into the ring and oh god into the ring pass face first is it these two need to care because you can't score an elimination on the outside. Yeah, can't well, score these two seem more, you know, focused on finding the outside. Yeah, these are really just fighting at it. I mean, both the captains really just destroying each other. As again, just As you can see, oh, your shadows is just constantly in the way of Rose Garcia trying to get Kiss Wolf back in the ring. Yes, yeah, now Casey Wolf, what is she looking to do? Has her, but no big reversal there. And again, just throwing her around. And just throwing around. Now it's going to get back inside the ring because no count outs. She's even going to have to just wait for Casey Wolf. Or there she's going to go back outside. Yeah, going back outside. Well, throwing kiss to all the holograms on the outside. But oh my god, oh god. <laughs> the back of the head of Casey Wolf now finally getting her back inside the yeah. ring. Finally back inside the ring where eliminations can actually occur. Yeah, but look at that standing oh, Spanish fly. Yeah, standing Spanish fly. Two, three. And, and it's, well, it's two for two. Yeah, it's evened back up again. Two v two. And but now, could we indeed? But no, are you able to break it up? There she was. Say, 
So Battlefront Captain has eliminated the Apex Captain. Will that have a big effect? There's... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Now Jordan Payne's gonna take one of these superplexes. I think she already did early in the match and that is her second one this time by <laughs> Rosa Garcia. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely going a lot better than the men's side where the men's almost got a clean sweep. The, right now the women going back and forth on eliminations. Yeah, they saw us. Oh, God. Jordan Payne just gets dropped there. But again, we're on the outside. I need to tell these women that you can't get eliminations via, via count out. Unless they just, they just want to destroy each other on the outside. Moves are more effective out there. Yeah, that definitely seems to be the case right now. As now, what is Jordan looking to do? She throws Rosa Garcia back in and Casey walking to the back after being eliminated. But now, what is Jordan looking to do? Throwing her into the ropes. Swing brand of hair. <laughs> it's, it's. Now, Jordan, could she try and eliminate the captain here? Has her up That's on her right. shoulders. Big yep. side oh. swim there. Yeah, hits that side of but no picky Rosa Garcia back up, not finished. I'm taking her into the corner. Is she going to try that drive back? Yep. Yeah, well, definitely sweet indeed. Not going to go for the tag. Go for that drive by drop kick. Has her. At least you tell her, though, how ineffective it seems to be. It just gives the opponent has to tag to their opponent, but what's as far as gonna see it being taken down by this? Yeah, it's now could it be enough to put away Rosa Garcia? One, two, no! Oh, so, well, I think actually Rosa had you know kicked up, but she has ready he was there anyway. It's all is now thrown into the corner. What is Jordan looking to do? But Serenity tags herself in. Yeah. Oh, whether, you know, that's what Trump had wanted to have happened. Well, she did that. I don't know. But look at this. Oh, oh. Has a wrap. It's a neck breaker. You know, Jordan's feeling it now. Is right now, both of the Battlefront women are down. It's not looking good for Battlefront Apex on top. Yeah, they certainly are, but John Brady, look, she's just standing there. She needs to capitalize. She needs to continue the offense. She's not, and this could be this could be a huge mistake. This could be a huge mistake as she could try and get Rosa Garcia back in, but I think she didn't go for the task. Yeah. She was just trying to get up. But oh my no. god, big knee! No, oh, it's now throwing her into the corner. What is Serenity looking to do? Big knee into the midsection and now just stomping away. It's all it's now big tag. We're gonna get Battlefront's captain back in. And oh but no Jordan Payne counters. And it's now Jordan Payne trying to put away Rosa Garcia once and for all. Has her locked in it's his pedigree! Oh. It's the pedigree. Could she be about to eliminate the team captain and put it down to, well, Serenity on her own? There's one, two, no! Oh. And Serenity yeah, got there at the very last second. Harry Shadows was not quick enough to stop her. There's, oh. Able to take her down. There's, oh, but now. Getting cocky of herself here. Yeah, get quite there, but so that could end up. Plus, I look at this. Rosa Garcia's able to catch John Bain, and John Bain can just cast Apex with that cockiness, but no big elbow strike. Yeah, big elbow strikes. Now, Rosa has her up. Big set up oh. power bomb. Yeah, the huge set power bomb. Not going for a straight cover, though. Instead, working over the arm. Yeah, but now Rosa gonna get Serenity back inside. I yeah, said so those two are doing a good job here, consistent tags, trying to keep each other as fresh as possible. I mean, you know, fatigue has to be set in. But oh, look at this from Serenity. Two, no. Now look at this though, Serenity going up. Jordan Payne. Oh. Uh, oh. 
right to the back. Yeah, right to the lower back, and now quick tags from Battlefront. This is not looking good for Jordan Payne, as right now no. she just looks absolutely dead right now. Yeah, she does. She's she's right in the corner of Battlefront. Hurry, Shadows must seem like a thousand miles away to try to tap it. Look at Jordan Payne rolling away. Yeah. Uh oh, taken to court. Now, this is a chance to tag an Aria, but she's gonna go for this drop kick again. And yeah, she's going for it yet again. I mean, Jordan, she really needs to get out of the smash. She's gone through so much right now, trying to go for it yet again. Uh, hits it! Oh, hits it! I think fourth time on the match, second time but on the Rosa. It's like the sixth time. Oh, something like that. One, two, Three works this time! Serenity! It really proves to be an effective move after six times and now she's caught Serenity, but no Serenity counters! It, it is all Apex is to win as right now it is 2v1, all your shadows, Jordan Payne, all against Serenity here! Oh, bro. It could have been, we could have ended up seeing Jordan Payne tap out there, but no, it's not. Irish Shadows try to get in a ring, but the referee telling her, no, you're not the legal, you know, competitor in this match. Yeah, stopping her hair is now Serenity. Just walking she's down, but she's favoring there. her head. It's not looking good for Battle Frontier. It's again, some TV interference here towards the end, but right now, big hate down. Now, what is she looking to do? Big drop hold. And oh, now go for the over. Is Serenity going to tap? Yeah, could Serenity tap? Could this be the win for Apex? Is Apex going to win the night? But no, let's go over there. Let's go over. I think she was losing grip. Yeah, it seems like she was losing grip, but the damage is done. But Serenity now throwing it to the outside. But uh, I think all the shadows may be thinking about getting in the way, but doesn't there. But oh, it's now Serenity. Oh, big neck breaker. But if Serenity wants to try and get this big victory of Baffer, she's got to get Chul Payne back inside the ring to get an elimination and take it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, take it down to one-on-one. -on -one. Now, thrown back inside the ring. Serenity has to do what she can with Jordan Payne. Calling her a loser there. But Serenity, she needs to... You know, try and finish off, like, try and score elimination. That's what she's going to look to try and do. Is now oh. pump handle. <laughs> Face buster. And could oh, she put man. away? Two. Three. Jordan oh. Payne eliminated. It's one on one. It was going to be the sole survivor. Is it going to be Aria Shadows or is it going to be Serenity? Yeah, who's it going to be? you got to think, whoever gets this... Has got maybe a future opportunity against Brittany Blakers. I only shows that it looked like she was like, completely out of it. Yeah, she definitely looks like she's completely out of it. Serenity, she could be able to take one here. No, yes. has her locked oh, in. Nice, locked in. She's wrenching. Yeah, nowhere to go. But. Hey, what a power way out of it is. All your shadows. And now the big boot to the midsection. Big uh, kicks oh, here. Oh, yeah, right to the face. I could have knocked out Serenity, but her show's not finished. Yeah, not finished here is all. Now Serenity. Huge Hurricane <laughs> into the leg. Punches. That uh, close fist punch is, is now bringing up. I shows it's now oh look at this DDT Yeah big DDT is that gonna be enough is that gonna put her away one two three no oh, my god that's so close oh I thought that was it I thought Palafron had managed to pick up the victory a oh, big slap there but no I show is now fighting back is now what is Aria looking to do? It's all big boots oh. there! A huge boot! And now, oh, now just scraping the boot into the face! Is now, can this be enough? One! 
Two! No! <laughs> what? My god, these two women are now a fight with everything they got for their brand. Of course, that's what tonight's all about. Brad's impressive, but look at that! That yeah. can't be it! The double knees! One! Two! No! Oh, you're not oh. able to put her away! But are that not getting frustrated, just continuing on the attack, and now. Now just look at this, an inverted version of the bust of crab and but look at that breaking out of the hold. Yeah, he's able to break it up. Now pump handle face buster! It's it! Come One! On. Two! Three! And battle from pick up the victory. And well the other women are now back as they all celebrate. Good lord. Yeah, good word indeed. Serenity, the Soul Survivor, the winner for Battlefront here. Big win. Battlefront wins it all. Oh, Bobby, Battlefront are going to be riding a high now. Tom's going to be very happy. Yeah, Tom definitely has to be very happy indeed. Coach Morgan has to be very angry and disappointed in what happened here tonight. But for now, though, that is it. Just say goodbye to the fans. Goodbye, fans. And well, guys, I'm, of course, the main commentator, John Alderman. I'll see you guys all this Monday night for Apex. See you there.